How's it going everybody? Today we are here again with the Sea Dew XP. It's gonna be a lot of these little videos, but I figured I would show everybody some progress. So this ski came with a fire extinguisher. You're supposed to have one with you when you go out boating. Obviously, I'm not gonna be boating for a while. We're getting into the winter months, but I wanted to start to collect some of the pieces I'm going to need, whether it's gonna be this ski or another ski or whatever. Um, we're gonna need a fire extinguisher that actually fits where the fire extinguisher goes. Now, I do have one in the ski, but it's too big for the original container. So today, I wanted to show you guys which ones you guys will want. Um, hold on, where's the part number? I'll show it to you. There was a part number on it. This is the part number you're gonna want to uh, find. This KD57W5BC. Uh, I found it at Walmart. It was like, I don't know, 18 bucks. Not much to it. Anyway, this is supposedly the one that you want if you wanna put your extinguisher in the two, one of the two purple jugs where it went in the factory. So obviously you can see I have one that's just kind of floating around in here. That's just what they gave me when they gave me the ski. I obviously want something that goes where it belongs. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, so I'll get it out of the box and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so in our box we got Forgive me guys, I'm doing this one-handed. A little two pound fire extinguisher. Comes with a bracket, which we shouldn't need. There you go, just a just your standard fire extinguisher. Make sure that it's full. Check that needle every, uh, uh, every month. But that's the one that I got. Just a little bit of an instruction pamphlet in the box. No big deal. Um, if you don't know how to use a fire extinguisher, you should probably learn that. You'll just uh, rip this off here. You'll pull this pin out and then pass. You'll pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. So remember that base of the fire. If you guys don't know. Learn that at work. Thanks, work. All right, guys. Now, forgive me for using the uh, hose here to hold the hood up. That's all I really have at the moment. So that's the standard box. Obviously, I have these tools in here. I'm probably going to replace them. They're pretty rusted. They just came with the ski. So here is the extinguisher. And literally, the extinguisher should just fit right in like OEM. There you go. And just like that, you should be able to put the cap back on. And you can, no problem. So that fits in the OEM slot. And then obviously there's a little bit of room in there that I can slide those tools in next to it. But that's how you get a fire extinguisher back in to the factory location. And yeah. Now I can take this big honking extinguisher here. I'll probably just use this in my house, to be honest. I mean, it's a good extinguisher. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. It's just too big for the... Oh, never mind. This extinguisher, to me, is no good. So, you can probably see about getting this thing recharged. It's got a little bit of rust on the bottom now that I'm seeing it. So we'll probably just... I would just chuck this to be honest but anyway just wanted you guys to see that is one of the things that you're going to need for your ski when you get your uh, CDU XP that could be any of them that use this container that's the one that you want that's the one that fits so yeah look how nice the uh, look how nice this came out just cleaning it up I used a little uh, that three-in-one ceramic by uh, Meguiar's. Was it Meguiar's? No, it's Griot's. So Griot's Garage, I used that yesterday and it just came out insanely shiny. I mean, it's beautiful. If I can buff the rest of the ski, the rest of the ski will look like that. So that's incredible. Um, 
So, yeah, be on the lookout for that coming up soon, too. Alrighty, let's go ahead and put the rest of the tools in here. I'm gonna have to like maneuver it a little bit because it is a little bit of a tight fit in there, but at least it does fit in there tight enough where you're not gonna be jostling the thing around. Let's see about getting that in there. I'm gonna have to get up top just to peek, but yeah. And just like that, we are all done. Gonna have to clean the bin out just a little bit, but at least, like I said, I got all the junk that was in there out. Now the extinguisher's in there like it should be. It actually sits below. It was a little flush earlier. I'll give you a side view in a second here. But yeah, everything's out. Um, I got some, some random things in here. I got like a strap and uh, the whistle and everything you're supposed to have, but yeah, give me just a second and I'll show you the flush mount. And there it is once everything is put in where it needs to be. You see how you got a good bit of room underneath the cap, so it's not gonna be getting tossed around. And it actually fits in there snug, if you guys can see. So yeah, it's not gonna get tossed around, just like OEM, so yeah. I hope this was helpful to anyone. I mean, if you're looking for the extinguisher that fits in there, um, this should help you figure out which one you need to buy. And I will post a link down below in the description. Yeah, we need to clean this bin out the rest of the way, but I just wanted to get it, you know, at least everything out of the bin and into these two little jugs and then go from there. So yeah, if you have any questions, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. We're gonna tackle a bunch of things this off season.